Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys, we're taking a look at Multivac and specifically the price action of MTV. It's held up incredibly well after yesterday's pullback. So let's get into some TA and see exactly what's going on. As we get into it, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new, then do subscribe, tap the bell and select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here right with that said done and out of the way let's jump into this technical analysis on multivac so we're going to start with this weekly chart guys to really indicate how well things have been performing so far we take a look at where it was during our low areas of 2019 um, over to kind of getting into march uh, and uh, well january february march of 2021 this is a significant time for multivac pushing up to significant highs of 1.8 cent before having a pullback um, and then obviously going on a bit of a tear we obviously all got very very close to our first target here for multivac of uh, 2.8 cent and yesterday's pullback is quite an interesting one we'll get into that in a moment and um, to move up to about 9.2 cent which is one of the fibonacci retracement tools um extension levels of 4.236 is about 469 percent then i still think that we could absolutely blast through a lot of these targets once we kind of get a bit more kind of adoption and um, and uh, a bit more marketing from the team around the project and what they're doing there because um, at the moment not that many people actually know about multivac it's incredibly cheap uh, 1.6 cent at the point of recording this video and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it can go to 30 cent very very quickly it's got a low supply um, and as a result it wouldn't take a lot of money to move that needle with so much of it already delegated and state so a lot of it's out of circulation and um, so again i think this is a really important project that many people can uh, can definitely see significant gains on so do some research on it guys i'm not a financial advisor if you if you're new to the channel um do research get into it figure out what's going on um, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, nor is Chris, uh, but we do talk about projects that we like and that we're invested in. Multivac is a very interesting project um, and it's well worth kind of doing research on it. So if you're new, check it out. Um, let's actually take a look at what's going on though from this structure. We could obviously see good motion to the upside coming back down and finding support on our 786. This is another key thing that's working really well for us. So although yesterday was very um, unusual in the way of everything that happened, um, basically with Bitcoin having its pullback, um, pretty much in line with what happened with XRP on the 1st of February, everyone was supposed to buy $30 worth of Bitcoin. Um, and instead you had a few bad actors dropping on the market when in the market in fact was supposed to go to the moon. Um, so obviously, you know, those things, they, they never work out. And um, this is two examples in a very short space of time where uh, unfortunately people have been caught out by it. So that being said, um, that happened with Bitcoin on the same day that El Salvador made it legal tender. Uh, and as a result of that, we also saw that, um, you know, it pulled the rest of the, the market down with it. Not all altcoins went down, some actually did actually go up, but the majority of them were negatively affected by what happened with Bitcoin. But there is some good news that comes with it. Um, and as we jump down into our daily view, we're going to talk about what that is. Um, so although it is very frustrating to see that happen, these natural corrections are absolutely vital. And what we've seen yesterday here was a good surge to the upside, going up into the overbought area as we are bringing up to these all high, uh, almost all-time highs as we were going after our uh, 1.618 area uh, on the Fibonacci. Now, instead, what we saw is basically the next three days kind of a pullback. Um, and yesterday, we actually retested our area of support. This is an area that was tested a couple days ago and is tested again yesterday so today's um, candle again is indicating a little bit of a lower low but we're also setting up a higher high so this is then forming a triangular wedge and i'll get into that in a moment we can see that this stochastic rsi is now going down to the oversold area on this daily so again this gives us a massive amount of room to grow back to the upside as we start to see good swings uh, and push maybe up past that 1.618 2.618 3.618 and so forth right until eventually we get to that 4.236 extension and maybe blast straight past that in the same way that solana has right solana has basically done a 4.2 36 extension and um, from the wave three high and the wave four low um, and basically is now indicating interesting areas and interesting price predictions so check that video out if you're so into solana as well um so here this is actually perfectly good this actually looks pretty well for for mtv holding this area is key and, and we should basically be able to start back up to the upside we can also see that the previous high area is also our resistance line here um so that's the high of this third wave over this side and um, so although we have a good support line we also have a good resistance line uh, and again things are lining up for that nicely um overall let's actually just pull this down into our hourly chart and then we start to see a bit more of that structure and how it's changing 
Um, so overall, we can see that we're oversold here. Um, and what we can do, of course, is see where did we actually start to see this kind of pullback occur? Well, this was happening yesterday and it would have actually happened at about here. And if we actually draw this on with a Fibonacci, we can see that we actually went above our um, 786, but we were unable to hold it for too long on this hourly. So we did see a pullback coming back down. But what's interesting here is we are in an oversold status in the same way that we were oversold during this point. Um, and actually we're in a bit of a, 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 low, a higher low area here. And um, so if that does continue when we start to now move back up to the upside, we're going to get this interesting triangular wedge up here. Um, and again, this could be absolutely explosive for multivax. So we can see that there is this downward trend. And we can also see, uh, although we need a little bit more data, um, so we'll get this shortly, is there is this um, this upward trend that is appearing here as well. Okay, so um, overall, what you end up with is this triangular wedge that appears, uh, and we'll look for a bit of a break to the upside or a break to the downside. We look at where we are technically and within the structure, what is more probable. Um, so for me, it will look like we'll test this area, we'll pull back, we'll probably test this area, and then we'll have that break to the upside there. Um, and this is because we're not in a bear market. We're not in a correction wave. Instead, we're in wave five with corrections inside it. Um, so what happened yesterday was an anomaly. Uh, and what we mean by this is when we actually take a look at glass node and we take a look at where the inflows were for Bitcoin, um, they are not in line with where the institutions were manipulated during May, for example. So with May's inflows, they were up here very, very high. And you can see that the basically the idea was to push the price of Bitcoin down significantly. Instead, what you saw was basically a few bad actors, a couple of whales maybe, um, that were basically, you know, the ringleaders in that whole buy $30 worth of Bitcoin scenario. And um, so therefore the inflows weren't very high. In fact, this is more in line with just traders and uh, pretty standard in fact and um, because we haven't uh, seen this kind of level broken for a while it's pretty standard nothing to worry about we also check out where things were during the march crash of 2020 that was significantly higher than even it was in may so we know that the inflows aren't quite where they need to be but what about a bear market well we take a look at a bear market right bear in mind that we're all the way down here um, during 18. Let me just expand that back up. And we can see that we're over here right now, right? And this is what a bear market kind of inflows look like, right? Loads of trading activity, really high volumes uh, of inflows on the exchanges. So we know it's not that kind of scenario, but we're actually reasonably low still. So again, I'm not overly concerned with what's going on. I feel it's very, very short term and definitely not something to be kind of worrying about um, long term. So for this is an interesting kind of point of view. And again, the stock to flow model is also intact. So again, nothing to also worry about there either. And um, so overall for MTV, I'm, I'm looking at the structure. I'm looking at what we're looking at in terms of technical data within the charts. But we also have a look at those out external factors, right? What else is going on in the space? And I think we are more likely going to have that break to the upside than the downside. Um, and this was an anomaly, a short um, kind of event that happened just for Bitcoin, but because Bitcoin leads the pack, it unfortunately has a knock on effect. Most of these altcoins have already recovered very, very well. And I think that MTV is going to be the same. If we ever in doubt though, we do zoom out and we take a look at the bigger structure and where things are heading. We can also take a look at, we are you know, approximately 460% away from that 9.2 uh, cent area. And uh, we'll take a look at where this correction was, right? So we had a 32% correction. Uh, again, this is uh, not unusual. We'll take a look at where things were during the kind of push to the upside that we've seen previously. Uh, and again, we'll just take this candle over here uh, and we can see that this was also a 42% move, right? Before we actually went to these high areas here. Um, so again, these are natural corrections. They happen all the time. Uh, and again, I'm not overly concerned with this one. Again, Multivac is performing very, very well. I think it's going to continue to perform well as we look to peak out some of these areas. I think worst case scenario should be about 7.2 cent, uh, a medium scenario, 9.2 cent. And under some actual good circumstances, good marketing, uh, we could potentially see multivac explode um, much, much higher. Not a lot of money would move the needle. We just need to get the word out there. Um, so 30 cent in my mind should be something that we should also be aspiring to. Guys, if you have found this brief update on MTV useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then do subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here. With this said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day. And I'll catch you all in the next one.